Welcome everybody, my name is Mr. Lum, and today I'm bringing you a Heart of the Swarm game. This is going to be between Root No Cancer, aka Root Cats, from what I've heard. If this is not Cats, let me know, but that's what I was told, is that this is Cats. And he's going up against Bones, who of course plays on Team Triumph. He is the Blue Protoss. And the map is, I don't even know. What map is this? If you know the map, feel free to post it below. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out after the game, of course. But I just, I'm not quite familiar with Love Heart of the Swarm. I've actually been playing a lot of, Wing of Wings of Liberty lately, which is uh, good for me because I needed to, right? I, I, that was something that I never quite did. I always sat around like, you know, probably like 600, 700 points in Masters League. And that was just from like not playing. Like I'd play like 40 games or something and start to like work my way up and then not do anything. And then when I'd kind of, you know, play a little more, I'd get around to like 1K Masters. But I never really like refined my builds or anything like that. Um, I just did a lot more, uh, you know, casting, stuff like that. And so it's Christmas break and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to start laddering. And I'm actually up around 1,500 points right now. So, um, that's good, you know, uh, that's definitely good for me, and hopefully, you know, maybe I can make GM next season or something, I, ladder should lock here in a couple of hours, so I'm not gonna make GM this season, it's already filled anyways, but, uh, you know, hopefully next season, uh, if I play a ton of games, I can make GM, and I think that'd be really cool. Anyways, we see Bones going for the gateway. Um, just started off, so not going to be opting for a Forge Fast Expand. Like I said, I haven't played a ton of uh, Heart of the Swarm. I've played probably about like 20, 30 games, something like that. And, oh, there we go. So he actually takes his third base first. Um, so, like, Bones right now could just go for some sort of really early aggression if he wants, right? He could just go for like a four gate, I feel like, because Katz has taken his third, or his natural at the very least, way out here. We'll see if he takes his third down here, and if Katz goes up to three bases, three base Zerg versus one base Protoss, I feel like the Protoss is in a pretty good position at that point. Um, so Cybernex Core going to be going down now. No unit going to be boosted out so far for Bones. Uh, there we go. So there is going to be the Zealot. And he has the two pylons down in the base. He's looking around. He's going to go ahead and boost out some more probes, though, and get an assimilator. So we'll see if he's going to go up to maybe some Stargate. I know oracles have been kind of a fun thing. Um, and no third base as of yet for uh, Root Cats. But, I mean, he's just getting down his pool right now. So I think he, yeah, he did. He took, he went 15 hatch first at his third base. Cats always just the strangest things. Anyways, also grabbing a gas at this time. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, it's really cool uh, to like watch all the new units and stuff. Just kind of see how they work, see how players use them, everything like that. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to see if he's going to get oracles at all. Because like I was saying, they do a ton of damage, especially in Zerg mineral lines. If they go uncontested, like if a Zerg gets the oracles out and gets them in the mineral line, there's no sports or anything, they can wreck a line. I know when I was playing, I was sitting there and I was like, la, 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 just having fun, playing my ZVP. And then all of a sudden I looked at my mineral line and there were like three oracles. I was like, oh, okay, I'll send some queens over. And the next thing I knew, all my drones were gone. So I was like, well, that was very strong. Uh, so it looks like Bones uh, most likely going to one gate expand. Uh, that's kind of what I'm sensing here with this sentry right here and is he getting another sentry out no it just has one sentry out right now mothership core is out though so we can now um use that and something that i do love is when players use this to kind of deny vision around the map so this map of course not the best with the vision right these towers are way off to the side it's not like there's a tower right here but on other maps, um, I've seen the, the Protoss player just send it out and pick off the Zerglings at all the watchtowers constantly. Just back and forth picking off all the Zerglings, just denying the scouting. And it really takes advantage of the fact that Zergs don't have any anti-air to start the game. They have their queens, but they're, they're limited to the creep, and that's it. So beyond that, Zergs don't have anything. Swarm hosts can't attack air anymore. Um, they can go Hydras, but Hydras are still kind of a half-and-half half unit, I feel like. So there's, you know, it's like, and that's way later. Hydra, Muta, that, that takes a while to get to. So you can really deny vision for a long time. And, uh-oh, is it going to be able to get that probe? No, it will not. So Bones does take his expansion here. Going to go ahead and get his forge and extra gate up. Uh, Katz has a few links out on the field. Looks like he's just gonna... Oh, wow, that's a decent amount. So he might try and sneak in there and do a little bit of damage. And Bones using the Hallucinate. Is that something that's no longer an upgrade? Or did he get that upgrade is my question. And nice forcer right there. Gonna go ahead and block those out. 
And they can try and pick away at this Nexus for a little bit, but shouldn't be uh, able to do too much damage. But yeah, so um, I think they got rid of the hallucination, hallucination upgrade, right? I do believe it's just automatically on the sentries now, which is awesome because it's really good. And Bones as well going to be using the, uh, what's the name of the ability? Photon Overcharge, where you energize a Nexus and it just becomes a long-range weapon for 60 seconds. So you get a whole minute of that. And that's some defense I feel a lot of Protoss players needed. Um, was, you know, they needed to have something else back home that could help defend right there uh, beyond, you know, just having the sentries for the force fields. You miss a force field, you're screwed. Well, now you have this, at least it can be a little bit better. Plus, you have the mothership core, which has the damage that can rain down from above. So you can do a lot of damage right there. And it looks like it will go off, though. And so here we're going to see uh, cats try and get in, do a little damage. Going to pick off a couple of probes right there. And Bone's going to hold it pretty well. Just lose a couple of probes. Nothing terrible. What's going on back in Cat's base? No lair yet. Just taking his third base at this point. Uh, so that's about to finish up. Grabbing a lot of gas, but I'd like to see a lair come down. I feel like there we go. So now the lair's going to drop. Roach Warren going up. It uh, doesn't look like he's doing a anything too fancy at this point. Um, just, you know, being a good little Zerg, droning up, yada, yada, yada. So he is kind of low in supply, though, at this point. Only 51 supply. Um... Which, you know, is you want to be closer to 70 at this point, at 8 minutes, I feel like. So I feel like he's a tiny bit behind there, but he also has invested in these lings that he's been sending in to do some damage. And here we're going to go ahead and see Bones. Now he's getting out the oracles right there. So like I said, uh, we'll have to see if he's going to do uh, the drone, you know, run bys with these, whatever, do some damage. Because they do some decent damage. Cat knows, though, as Cat did scout in there and he did see the Stargate. If we look at from his vision right there, yep, so he knows the Stargate's going down. He doesn't know about this robotics facility that has now been dropped, but he knows about the Stargate at the very least, probably expecting the Oracle, and here we can look at the things. So charges the Oracle's Pulsar Beam, allows it to attack ground units, um, and it drains 1.4 energy per second, and where's the Pulsar Beam? There you go, 25 damage versus light. What is the attack speed on that? Weapon speed 0.86, wow. So yeah, you literally just go over, and drones are light units, I'm pretty darn sure they are. So like two shots drones, is that right? Are drones light units? Otherwise it's 15, but still, that is a ton of damage from oracles. We'll have to see uh, what Bones exactly is going to do with these, how much damage he can get done. Additionally, they have time warp, where it creates a little uh, area on the ground that halves the movement speed of units, and then revolution, revelation causes enemy units to grant vision. Right, right. So this is where you can use it for your Tempest. You can grant vision. So here he's going to go ahead and fly over. He's going to activate his Pulsar Beam, try and pick off that Queen right there. And wow, the only issue right here is nicely done by Cats. Well held there. But the only issue is these are so fragile. 60 shields, 100 health. That's it. And how much do they cost? They do cost 150, 150. So, I mean, that's a lot of investment for, you know, a weak unit. And if they have spores in their mineral lines, it looks like that kind of shuts them down. So, it's one of those, you know, half and half units. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because, um, I, I don't know. I guess that's its early game use is you can try and catch your opponent off guard. Kind of a little cheesy thing. Uh, but then beyond it, I suppose it's used for... Um, fighting in actual battles, right? The time warp, that could be super huge right there, especially if you're going up against, uh, if you have Colossus behind or Storm, something like that. If you can slow down the movement um, of enemy ground units, wow, so it allows your Zealots to catch up. I mean, that could be amazingly strong. And here he's going to actually activate his Pulsar Beam to go ahead and pick off some creep, which, by the way, I haven't noted, uh, is already basically at Bones' base. So Cat's doing an amazing job with the creep spread. What has he worked up to? He's now got Nidus... Uh, or Swarm Host on the way. He's got some Infestors out. And I love the Swarm Host. Such a cool unit. Um, I'm not quite sure of, like, the damage, the practicality of it, all that stuff. You know, what what exactly is it going to be used for in the future? I mean, I know it's going to be used for sieging up and stuff. But, like, you know, people come up with strategies. And maybe it'll be the new ZVZ, like, getting an, an early Swarm Host rush that just sieges up their natural, something like that. Um, people always come up with cool strategies, but I do love them. I think they're really cool, uh, and I think they add a lot of innovation. And nicely done by Bones right here. Go ahead and patrol over here, as he can actually see. And wow, what is this? Bones with some Void Rays and some... Wow, he added in some hallucinated Void Rays as well. So going to go ahead and uh, fake his opponent out right there. What was that? Oh, no, he recalled. Holy cow, beautiful play by Bones right there. 
Um, so his units got in, got fungal growth, and he actually recalled the whole army back because he had the Mothership Corps right to his nexus. That is an amazing move. I've never seen anything like that, and that's so smart because that just saved a bunch of Oiders. And I mean, I know some were hallucinated, but I think he had three in that army. That's a lot that you don't want to lose to fungal growths. So that kind of negates the fungal growth a little bit, right? Like, how does that... How does that affect a you know the investor right there if all of a sudden fungal growth isn't as strong because they can just recall out of it that makes it a little bit better uh, so it looks like we are going to go ahead and see some infested or some swarm host where are those things called locust from the swarm host uh, try and pop out do some damage a lot of queens over here looks like they of course are there for transfuses as well as attacking the air all those void rays then he has the infestors behind bones gonna have to be careful engaging this. And, I mean, I'd love to see what, what else Bones has going on right here. He's just getting now more Colossus. So it looks like he's just building a Colossus Void Ray army. Um, Cat's still sitting on these three bases. So three base versus three base at this point. But it doesn't look like Cat is in a terrible position. I mean, he has these Swarmos. He has these Queens. He has these Infestors. Like, this is a great army to be able to push in with. And, I mean, free Zealots, right? Those Locusts cost nothing. They're just picking off supply of Bones left and right. So at some point, he's going to have to break out here. And he's going to have to pick off these Swarmos. And the nice thing is he only has five swarm hosts right there, right? So it's not like he's sitting on like 20 swarm hosts to do something. He's just going in with five and picking off one more zealot. Picking off one more zealot. Doing a little bit more damage here and there. Uh, which is really cool. And, you know, if he can start getting into the sentries, that'd be even better for him. Um, and so Bones just, you know, continuing to mass up some Colossus, Avoid Rays, Oracles. Look at this army. I actually really like this army composition here. Um, of bones, a lot of sentries, everything like that, and he's gonna have to recall, and he will again. So again, with the fungal growth, twice we see bones recall back. Very well done. That's definitely going to help save him. But here he's gonna have to be careful, as we're going to see. Cat's gonna gonna go ahead and start moving into this third base right here, and bones needs to be careful. He needs to. He does not want to lose this whatsoever. He needs to be careful. Oh, huge fungal growth. The projectiles, there you see him again thrown in. All those sentries will get saved, though, as Bones' army does move in and even hallucinates some Archons. So, I mean, Bones is using all of these units, uh, even like Wings of, of Liberty upgrades, like the, uh, what's it called? The Hallucinate, right? Nobody uses that. But this, look at this. By having these Archons hallucinated in the army, they're tanking the shots of all of these infested Terrans. They're doing extra damage. But I must say, I love Roots Cat's positioning right here. He's broken down both walls, so he can attack into both bases. He's attacking the third. He's attacking the natural. He's doing a lot of damage. Bones is going to have to push out, I feel like, at some point, if he wants to deal with this. is going to need to be careful, though. And there comes some Fungal Gross. There you can see the projectile shooting out. And, yeah, I mean, it looks like Katz does need to move in a little bit closer over here to get to this third base. But he is doing a ton of damage. And Bones, though, just continuing to mass up this army, getting charged, getting blink. More Colossus, more Void Rays, and he is just going to sit on this Colossus Void Ray army. And as long as he doesn't get Fungal Growth, I feel like he's in an okay position. But, I mean, there's a lot of Infestors here with a lot of energy, so they can do so much damage. Uh, so Bones does need to be careful. He needs to keep his units kind of spread out, I'd imagine. And I love this as well. Root Cats has brought in these spore crawlers to help uh, defend. And here we're going to see Bones push out actually to take some of these units out. Some Fungaros will go down. They're going to get a decent amount of the units right there. Bones looks like he might be okay though. Fungal Gross have done a decent amount of damage, but there's a lot of Colossus. Also, some co hallucinated Colossus added into this army. And it looks like all of these Corruptors will fall right here, but. Except one, actually, which is still alive to do damage. There's no more. There we go. Finally, some stalkers to get in. Anti-air. And Bones, is he going to be able to clean this up? It looks like he just might. He's going to be picking off all of these uh, swarm hosts left and right. And actually going to save, leave a few right there as he can't quite get it all cleaned up. So has to back off. Picked off a lot, though. Picked off Corruptors. Picked off a lot of Infestors. Still some Infestors left for Cats, who has now grabbed... Um, his fourth base. Has he taken a hive yet? No, still on Lair Tech at this point. So this is the nice thing, I have to say, is that the game is, you know, it's it, this right here is not a rush. It's not like the typical ZVP in Wings of Liberty, where it's just like, well, time to rush to uh, Hive Tech and just try and get my Broodlords out, otherwise I lose. Like, with these Swarm Hosts uh, and everything like that, it's really kind of changed the game. And I mean, the beautiful creep spread as well as cat from Cats. Look at the creep on the map in the bottom left right there. He is all over this map. He could start going up into his opponent's base probably pretty soon. And look at that. You can even place it on cliffs. That's cool. 
Um, and so now we're going to go ahead and see Bones try and push out over here. Are there Infestors with Fungal Growth Energy? It looks like they're just shy. So if Bones actually pushes right now, he could be in an okay position. A couple of Archons. Um, Colossus, Void Rays in that army is going to back off though. And this right here could be a nice little bonus to Root Cats right there. As he is going to go ahead and get out some energy. Or get up the energy on all of these Infestors. He'll go ahead and have Fungal Growth on a lot of Infestors right there. And Bones, yet again, uh, are still, I, I suppose I should say, trapped in his base. I mean, he's sitting on three base to four base, so it's not the worst position to be in in the world, right? Um, but a lot of Colossus as well. He just needs to make sure that he can deal with uh, any sort of anti or anti Colossus units like Corruptors and stuff. But Cats really hasn't made a lot, right? He's made. 8, 12 Corruptors right here, and Bone's going to go ahead and possibly try and push out? No. And Cat's just going to continue advancing forward with Spine Crawlers and Spore Crawlers being added on. I love this decision. Continue sieging up with these Swarm Hosts, and I mean, this is just such an amazing game because it's so different. I've, you never see anything like this in Wings of Liberty, and that's what I've really said when I've talked to a lot of my friends that Heart of the Swarm, is I've just said, this is an entirely different game, and it's nothing like Wings of Liberty. Like, yeah, there's a lot of the units still in there that are still the same, but the game is so different. I mean, everything just plays out so differently, at least for now it does. And Bone's actually getting close to Max right here, so is he going to look to make a push? He might push from two armies. It looks like that's exactly what he's going to do as he warps in to his Max point. And here we go. I'm imagining it's going to be happening very soon. Yes, it will. So he's going to go ahead and engage on two fronts right here. Pushing in from the top left and the top right. Going to be trying to take out a lot. Infested uh, or Fungals being thrown. Infested Terrans now being dropped as well. But Bones is cleaning up a decent amount of this army. Cats needs to be careful as he is losing a lot of supply at this point. Not quite doing the damage he needs. And some fungal growths have gone down. He needs to be careful with these infestors, though, as the zealots are just tearing them apart. There we go. He's going to get a few fungal growths off. But Charge Lot's doing so much damage at this point, and Bones in a great position. But look at all these corruptors right here. We need to see Bones be able to take care of these, or otherwise he's going to be losing a lot of Colossus, which it looks like he is at this point. Those Stalkers and Archons need to focus the corruptors, not all of those Overlords over there. And finally, he's going to start getting over there to do some damage, but he's lost a lot of uh, units at that point. He's still ahead in the supply list. He still has to feel in an okay position. Four more Corruptors are right here. I'm sure Cats would have wanted to see that prior to that. And a lot of Overlord's going to go down. This could actually Supply Block Cats, it looks like. Yes, it will as Supply Block. He is Supply Blocked. He is. And, I mean, Bones is going to start picking off Creep, just moving out. He can start charging over to this base right here. Has Cats gone to Hive? Yes, he has. Has he morphed anything, though, with his Hive? No Greater Spire. I don't see any Vipers. Anything like that out. Uh, so he is simply sitting on... I mean, yeah, he can make Vipers if he wants. I don't see any, though, in the units count. Nope, just sitting on Infested Terrans. And here we actually see Cats, who does go into the third base. Going to go ahead and try and take this out. Doing a ton of damage. Look at the Fungal Growths on the probes. No! They all just got annihilated. So Bone stacking up his probes on his assimilator. And it gets absolutely demolished right there by Fungal Growths. That is not what you want to have happen as a Protoss player. But Bone still has the scarier army, I feel like, at this point. Uh, he's still going in with some charge lots here. Do some damage. 2-3 on those upgrades. What do we have upgrades here? Air. We just have plus 1. And where's and some of the ground units? And Bones actually picks off the 4th base right here pretty easily with just a few zealots. And let's get it. Uh, give me. So 2-2. Two, two. All right. So we have 2-2 two, two upgrades for um, Root Cats right here. And Bones is now broken that contain. He's starting to push out. He's taking a 4th base as well. Still just working off this one Stargate, one Robo, it looks like. So he's just working off that, getting out his gates. I mean, you know, nothing too crazy going on in his base. And he's able to do a lot of damage here. He's going to go ahead and start engaging in at this third base of Cats. Does Cats have enough to hold it? He's got a lot of Corruptors over there. They need to be careful, though, as all of the Archons getting over here doing a lot of damage. So those Archons are going to be able to defend against these Colossus, or defend these Colossus right here against these Corruptors, which are trying to swing around back, actually, it looks like. Yep, they're just going to take a really long route to get back. And they're going to get in here to try and do some damage. And it looks like Bones should be able to pick off a decent amount. Will he lose that one Colossus? No, he's actually going to save it and picks off a couple of Corruptors as well. 
But Bones has done so much damage. Look at how many bases he's picked off. I mean, he's in a great position now. Four bases to two in favor of our Protoss player. And is he actually going to try and push forward, pick off another? Yes, maybe. Uh, nope. Not quite going to get it. But at this point, he can just continue to reinforce, add some more Archons into his mix, add some more Zealots into his mix. As he charges forward, he's got the supply advantage. He has the upgrade advantage. He's got, I mean, everything right now is in his favor. The bases. So basically, he just has to push forward and A move to victory. At at this point maybe a little bit of focus fire on these corruptors which he's doing very nicely getting some blink stalkers out there as well while everything else just tears the army apart here of cats who has a lot of drones sitting at one base right here uh, and so everything's kind of split up some fungal growths are going to be dropped right there not going to be able to do enough corruptors trying to pick away uh, and might actually get a few of these colossus so actually doing some decent damage but there they will actually fall and gg well played from Root Cats. So, wow. Beautiful game right there by Bones. Nice patience, right? He was contained for 20 minutes. Just sitting there, contained with Swarm Host, just attacking into both his third, both his natural, back and forth. I mean, spine, spores, everything. <coughs> but, I mean, well done. He had hallucinated units as well. And it was that was just a glorious win. So... With that being said, my name is Mr. Lama. I hope you guys enjoyed this cast, and I will see you guys next time.